Because of this, and by the way, please realize, since you're not wearing any undergarments, be very careful when you sit down. Because you can't sit down normally or else you're in trouble. Okay? It's very, this is a very common problem. You, you have to be conscious of it. Have some shame and hayat. So I'm just telling you for practical purposes. Otherwise, you may wear any way you want. The most practical way of doing this, right? You take one corner of the ikram and you fold it six inches or more. doesn't matter. Just you fold it like this. Okay? And then you cover the right thigh. You cover the right thigh. So you go all the way up here. And then you go around all the way. Oh, it's been so many years I feel all these memories coming back. And then you go around all the way. No, no, it's fine, it's fine. I've done this too many times. So this is six to eight, as I said, just to be on the practical. And you put one foot out like this. And again, this is for practical. Well, you can do it anyway, fiqh-wise. This is just to make your life easier. Uh, and then you cover the right thigh, the right, the right leg. Then you come back again, and then you fold it again on this side, okay? And then you put the belt on the navel because your aura is the navel. Don't wear your belt where you wear a western pant, which is on your waist. Because shari wise your navel is aura, right? You know this, right? Okay? So you wear the belt on your navel, and then you fold this on top. So then you have over here a nice space to walk. That's the whole purpose of doing it this way. You have space to walk without your aura exposing. If you put it this way, you will not have space to walk. After a while, it's going to get tight, okay? If you have it this way, what you've done, remember how we did it, is that you had this little area to move your foot, but it's still covered by this, okay? So it's just a practical benefit that you just cover this, and this gives you a little bit of extra leeway uh, for covering it up. So what happens is, within a few hours, you will find your, your cloth shifting this and that. So you already know these are the two sides here. You can just tighten it like this. You see this? Right? You already know that, okay, this is my right side, this is the left side. You simply tighten it. Your belt is in the middle. So you simply tighten it and therefore it's covered again. And of course, every time it gets uh, messed up, you can go to the restroom and just quickly take it out and do it again. Just a simple point. When you go to the restroom, realize that floor is najis, right? And this is a very long garment. So you have to be careful, do it really high up. And so you then do it from here. And this is very easy to do as well once you do it. You put the belt on and then you can lower it as well. Also, uh, again, a, a practical point of advice, try to keep your ihram as high as possible, preferably up to your middle of your shins. It'll keep your ihram cleaner and it'll make your life easier as well. Um, apart from that, alhamdulillah. All good. Alhamdulillah. Let's do the adhan, inshallah, and then...